Hello everyone, Greenthorn5296 here, yet again, with another video. We are back in the world of Red Dead Redemption 2. Where we last left off, we just got done doing missions for uh, Strauss. And in this one, I plan to do a little bounty hunting and also, we're gonna get Micah out of a uh, strawberry. And we'll also try to save Sean from Blackwater. Jose is over at, um, is over down there at, um, Emerald Ranch. But the first thing we're going to be doing, we're going bounty hunting. Because I still need to make more money for the camp. Come on, girl. How much money do I got right now? $69. Alright. I need to start using more money for myself because I want, I actually... Would like to upgrade some of my guns. Yeah. Oh no. All that, all that because enemies were led to camp. God damn it. And I'm not even, I'm not even two minutes into the video. God damn it. Not even two minutes in here. Yeah. Next thing you know, cut. <laughs> all right, let's try that again with a little less suck. There's more of those fucking sheep, I swear to god. Come lend a hand here. Indeed. Go ahead and call your mama for all uh, I care. I, take it easy. I got lumbago. <laughs> Should have thought about God. that earlier. What the hell, Uncle? Oh, you could have stepped in. I thought you had it covered. Just wait till you're old. I'll be in camp if you need me. Maybe try keeping your mouth shut next time. Oh, come on. <laughs> You'd all be bored as rocks without me. Uncle seriously needs to learn to shut his mouth. God damn it, Uncle, you idiot. Our very own avenging angel. Look on the wall there if you're after another quarry. The Terror of Valentine. Near Cumberland Falls with an unknown male who may be manipulating her. 
She's wanted alive. Yeah, okay. They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Fall. Alright, let's pay the gun shop a visit. Well, new marksman in town. Welcome. Well, it's really the catalog you want to look at. It's got everything in here. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. We can do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt. Your pick. Uh, we'll get the improved rifling on this thing. Smart addition. I'm just going to keep the weapon as it is right there. Keep treating Ed like your own child, all right? Good on you. you. Thought about upgrading the stock? I got some nice ones. I think personally the wraps are kind of just for show. Hey, beautiful condition. Keep it up. You know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers, parts, back here. Dangerous. You'll be very pleased with this. Outside of Smithfields? Yep. People are still talking about that fight. I ain't. Well, fair enough. Neither's Tommy. Anyway, how can I help you today? Bye. So I beat up that kid. There's nothing wrong with it. God damn it. Alright, let's see where this bounty is at. All the way down there. Alright, that's not too far away. Howdy, sir. Mister. Hello, you mister. lost your mind? Can't you get to Alright, we got a bounty to go catch now. I'm gonna go see how these people over here are doing. Hello, mister. Oh, hello again. Good to see you again. Ah. We're moving along slowly, but less than surely. I got more chance of teaching a pig to sing opera than to turn this pair into carpenters. <laughs> it don't look so bad to me. Uh, I asked God for sons and he sent me donkeys. Ain't that right, boys? <laughs> Keep at it. You'll get there. I'd seriously rather be doing anything else. Yep. Having 
some fun there? This is the exact opposite of fun, mister. Okay. Let's go, girl. All right, let's go after the bounty. Just looking to pass Walk through. Away. That's it. Nosy idiot. Uh, here we go with this again. Hey, jacket. When will these stupid bastards ever learn? Hmm, what does this hat look like if I wear it? Yeah, that hat is retarded. I wonder if these boys were trying to become old Driscolls. Crazy horses, get out of here. When will these people learn not to fuck with Arthur Morgan? Ooh, they had chess in here. Let's see what we got. Snake oil. Oat cakes. Shotgun shells. Horse reviver. Rifle cartridges, horse medicine, hay, let me maintain this gun really quick. And I'll take that thing of gun oil. And there we go. I'm not gonna bother hiding the rest of the bodies. Everyone's already gonna get the idea of what happened here.
I'm going to equip the regular bullets. Because I, I should at least start wasting some of these before I make more split point bullets. Okay, Ellie, Ellie Ann Swan, and she is wanted alive. Oh, look at that big elk. You can't turn me in. This ain't yeah. just. Easy. Just? You, you robbed and murdered your way across half the country. If you did, you got a criminal. If I had to guess where Ellie Ann Swan could be. Yep. If I was a betting man, let's try going up. Easy. Holy shit, my horse went cartwheeling. And Lenny, you ain't dying yet. Finally, my horse could walk right. Two hours later, my horse is still trying to get past the tree. Oh, yep, this sounds about right. Mrs. Swan, you like to come along with me? Ellie I'm sorry, but I, I, I'm, I'm going to make you go with the fellow. What kind of man are you? Cutie, that's little. Oh, next time. Good boy. Crazy bitch tries to tries to just slice me. All right, come on. Come on, crazy woman. Hang on, guys. I'm gonna sneeze. Give me a minute. Sorry about that. He literally just says, I'm gonna make you go with this fella. Then he gets his throat slit. What'd you learn, dumbass? Oh, nothing now, because you're fucking dead. Okay. Canned salmon and apple. Is this coffee? Hell yeah. Is it not letting me hog tire? You are a piece of work. Now. Come on, bitch. Don't you manhandle me? I'll manhandle whatever the fuck I want, bitch. Get on that horse.
Oh dear. What came over me? Is I'll tell you what came over you this. Shut up. <laughs> I do not condone hitting women. This is a game. I'm only hitting the woman in the game to make her shut up so I can just go on with the game. So tough and burly. I ain't falling for it. That woman needs to shut up and go to sleep. Damn. And no, I don't mean sleep by killing. Go to sleep, you dumbass woman. I'm really waiting for this woman to wake up again. I, I, I kind of just want to hit her again so she'll be silent again. Hey guys, don't mind the woman in the back. Careful! Slow down! Coming up on the jailhouse. Anything else you want to try on me? Just get me there. You're no fun at all. I'm afraid I ain't. I love how right now she's kind of just giving up. She's just like, just get me there. You're no fun at all. If my guy is able to reach the money. The black widow herself. This town's so starved of women. I'm sure she can find herself a husband yet. Well, that's cowboys for you. Indeed. Bitch, give me a bloody nose, but I'm all good. <laughs> So that's the end of that bounty hunt mission. Now let's go to Emerald Ranch and go see Hosea.
All right, off to Emerald Ranch. I kind of hope I would get to come across some of these bastards along the way. Where are some of them old Driscolls at? How about no? that look like though I like it yep. Idiot. oh my god that guy got fucking wrecked Lord have mercy and then BAM <laughs> oh god that was fucking awesome holy shit that was just freaking amazing Give some more oat cakes to my horse. You've unlocked skid turns and skid stops. All right. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes this. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss here. This is a sideline. Oh, yeah, this is where we do fencing, I think. The day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves to this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that. And then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage, I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. 
By marriage. <laughs> cousin. By marriage. So if you call him cousin, he'll just pop up somewhere and go, By marriage. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Oh, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Now we're going all the way to Carmody Dale. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. So what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. Hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. All right, let's hitch that the horse the here. Up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. Okay, Here's let's go see what we're doing with. See the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. let's take a quick look at the place. <sighs> Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? I say let's wait till night. Let's wait. Okay, let's go. Sure. All right, let's do this. You go into the house. I'll go find this wagon. Rob the house worth forty-five dollars worth. If I'm doing this better without the bandana. No, 
now let's close this back up when in doubt take their bourbon fucking place clean. Pocket watch. Could try to find Jose outside, but what about the goodies up here? I think that's about enough. Get on, dear boy. So damn smooth. Nicely done. We got everything we needed. And I'm pretty sure they never even knew I was there. Yes, we. Less problems, the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece, and it's a good night's work. some pieces. Nothing too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Exactly. How long you think we're gonna stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. <coughs> oh, 
Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. I think that went really well. I robbed those fuckers dry. They didn't even know I was there. <laughs> Next thing you know, just for saying the word Rob. FBI, open up! <laughs> yeah. Alright, sorry about that. I can now sell stolen wagons at the wagon fence in a little branch. All right. said I wasn't putting money in the goddamn box. I'd be busting my ass for Dutch. Dutch's lodgings have been upgraded. Other camp members have been inspired to contribute more. See what items we have. I got a lot of stuff. A lot of items for Dutch. Fifty-four dollars worth. God damn. Dutch, I've been busting my ass for you. Uh, I like this one. Who's up for playing poker? Yeah, all right. Oh, we're all playing poker. Yeah. We got John playing, we got Strauss, and we got me, of course. So it's just me and Strauss and 
Me, Strauss, and John playing poker. One of these days, I want to try my hand at liar's dice. Not that I'm saying I'm a liar. A nine and a five. Okay. Dear, dear, dear. I'm a check. So I got a nine and a five in my hand. And there's a pair of kings on the damn board. <laughs> So I'm going to chuck those cards away. So Strauss wins this one. I always feel like the odds are especially stacked against me when I play with you, Strauss. It is a game of pure chance, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I bet you can name the last 20 cards. Well, of course, you have to pay some attention. I got pocket jacks. Oh, hell yeah. Pocket frickin' jacks. Uh, Let's call 20 that? cents. Alright, John's in. Strauss is already folded. I got a pair of jacks on me. I'm gonna check this one. He bet Marston bets twenty cents. Okay. Let's uh call this one. Oh yeah. There. Come on already. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Now that's what I'm talking about. Give him my money. <laughs> One of five poker hands won. Yeah, let's keep this going. Boo -hoo -hoo. Buddy, buddy, buddy. I got a two and a seven. Might as well try it. Sure. Check. So I got a two and a seven, and there's a pair of threes. Check. Mm, check. Uh -uh. Shit. Gentlemen, gentlemen, you must invest. Uh, damn. I'm folding this one. Screw that. John calls. So yeah, I could think I got out of that hand. Oh, All you're right, fine. I can raise you there. See you. What do you think of this? Two p eights and threes, fours and threes. So Strauss wins. Strauss wins the hand, ladies and gentlemen. Don't even make sense. I admire your perseverance. All right, I got a five and a nine. I'll check. I'll check this one. A five and a nine, and let's see what we got. Just a pair of eights uh, and a king. Damn. I'll call it. Hey. Might as well see what's going on. That's it for now. Ah, not feeling too confident. I'll call it. See what's going on. Yeah. Ah, crap. I'll call. Man, these guys are whooping my ass. Yeah, I was not gonna have jack shit. Start. I'm going easy. You are yellow, aren't you? I think. Look at that. Another shot. Marston has pair of eights. Marston oh, had jack hell? shit. I was hoping you had a monster at least. So Strauss won due to a high hand. Risk and reward. <laughs> Marston's are getting his ass whooped. And at the poker table in Valentine. John's getting his ass whooped. 
Oh no. What do I got? An ace of the seven. Something decent. That's all I got. Damn. Marston okay. folded. Strauss called. So I got an ace and a seven. Oh! <laughs> Three sevens. Oh, God. I got three freaking sevens. I got three freaking sevens. I got three sevens and an ace and a jack high kicker. Let's be brave, all in. Okay, let's do this. Yeah! Give me the money! Give me the money, 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 money! Yeah! I can't believe you ain't made a big. A ten and a six. Good. Let's try it. Call. I shall check. So I got a 10 and a 6. Is that what it was? 10 and a 6? Yep. Oh shit, that is not good. Alright. So Strauss is out, it's just me and John Marston. Oh shit. I'm in. This stuff is not looking too good right about now. I guess I'm just gonna have to. How's this stack up? Not much. I had only ace high at Marston at pair of queens, so oh. John Marston wins this hand. Yeah. All right. Back in. Get out of here. So I made a dollar fifty-seven for playing poker. Okay, let's see. What other missions we got here? <clears throat> okay, we got Javier Escuela where we free Sean from Blackwater. And then we got to break Mike out of jail. So I'm going to sleep and then we're going to go break Mike out of jail. The reason it's important to break Mike out of jail is because Mike gives you an extra holster once you get him out of jail. Then you'll be able to dual wield weaponry. And if you ask me, dual wielding is very important. Whew. Let's do some chores really quick before we leave the camp. And these sacks got to go to Pearson's wagon, because Pearson is the camp cook. <laughs> sure are well supplied. You're like me, Arthur. Always lurking.
Okay. I'm hungry this morning. Looks like Jack's still a little bit tired. Morning. Morning, Arthur. Reverend. Oh, what time is it? Time for you to stop getting drunk. <laughs> All right, let's chop up some of the firewood. I'm a lumberjack, and that's okay. <laughs> Seriously, I almost do look like a lumberjack if I keep letting this beard grow. Hey Taz, how you doing, man? All right, so now dead eyes increased more. All right. How's it all go? I'm good. Good morning, Arthur. Glad to hear. Arthur. Hi, Taylor. Hey. Good morning, Arthur. Morning, Taylor. You're a good kid. Thanks, Uncle Arthur. All right, now let's go on ahead and get the hell out of here. Let's go break Micah out of prison. I think we let Micah suffer enough. Yep. I don't like Micah, but we uh, gotta go break him out. What do you think? What do you think so far? What do you think of the game, Taz? <laughs> All right, let's see. Switch this to the double action. Switch this to my double barrel shotgun. Off to strawberry we go. Alright, that's an optional stranger mission. We'll do that one later. I think from what I heard, this game was probably one of the most if not the most uh, highly anticipated games of of this year or of uh or of late 2018 i'm not sure which oh uh, yay bandits Shit, let's just whip this out. Come on, you frickin' O'Driscolls. Come get me.
Timber. October, November, you last played this? God damn. Yeah. How much ammo did they waste off me? Holy shit. Those guys didn't waste too much ammo on me. Alright, let's head to Strawberry. Think of a good reason to say no. Uh, after oh, this, I'll be relaxed for a bit. Shall I hop up there on the, on the back with you? Your legs work, don't they? <sighs> well, yes, I suppose. It's just a little demeaning. What are you doing out here, anyway? It clearly ain't your natural habitat. I, no, no, I'm just visiting. I, I, I'm from New York City, actually. All the way from New York, goddamn. You don't say. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. Not enjoying it, Dan? It's a town of splinters, if you could call it much of a town at all. So if I, I run, will he run with me? Carriage and I'd take it in the whole place. I suppose oh. some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame shack and I'll show you Broadway. And meanwhile you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard, a little bit spoke woodwork and he thinks this is a cultural hub? The man's completely deluded. Come on, you freaking horse. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here after all. More fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. Uh, no, no offense. Wait. Little taken. Oh, yes, this does look familiar. Is this guy doing the slender on me? Okay, I don't even yep. know what I did, but um, at least he's gone. He's like, never mind, I don't want your help. <laughs> kind of funny because I actually, I'm actually from New York, and he, there he is going, I'm just the New Yorker who got lost in the head. What the hell? I just disappeared. Knock, knock. Hello. Yep. Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. 
My favorite football team, um, right now my favorite football team would most likely have to be the, uh, I'll tell you one thing for sure, it's not the Patriots. So for all those Patriots fans out there, I'm sorry. Nothing personal. Tom Brady's an excellent quarterback and everything for the Patriots, but everyone keeps saying how Tom Brady gets uh, all the credit on that team, and they're right. He gets all the credit when it's a team effort. But for me, I'm always going to be a New York Giants fan, no matter what. I honestly don't give a shit what people say. Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good hey, time. Micah, how you doing, I'm bitch? Out of here. I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months, and now... I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little. He's like, I always looked up to you. There's that's first mistake. There's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. You got any dynamite? Yes. Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. All right. Let's see here. Let's get out of here. Come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. I knew you were scum. When I laid eyes on you. Do not let those bastards. I love using the double barrel. We should be long gone by now. Oh, Look out, we got more coming Bang. I'm glad we just wait here. They had something of mine. My guns. I showed him. 
And I'll show the rest of this town! You have really lost it this time. Oh. oh, that's funny. Micah has died. Basically, she'd be saying game has been beaten. <laughs> What's up, bitch? <laughs> is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time... Yes, you will all be thanked profusely. I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got <laughs> you back. For some unknown reason. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up. By letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court just... Right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch. Makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes, brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. And basically for that mission we now get another holster on the bright side. 
on the bright side we now have a we now got something from mica which is of course like i said that holster but it's gonna come in handy Now, right now, I gotta find a place to, uh, right now, I gotta find a place to go. Thanks to Micah, though, I now have a freaking $300 bounty on my ass. So, things right now are not looking well because of what Micah just did to us. So, the town over there is on lockdown. And I got a bounty put on my head. So even though we saved Micah, we now got a fuckload of money to pay off from that bounty. But all in all, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I've been Green Throwing 526. If you enjoy the video, leave a like, comment, share it with a friend, and if you would like to help my channel grow, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And uh, stay aware of whatever and whenever I'm posting. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, this will actually be my final video for tonight. Until then, take care people. Have a good night.